What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another SLA video. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about something that's going on and a lot of people are asking me to cover it. I'm surprised, actually. I logged in today and I had like four or five messages about people asking me, Payne, what's going on financially with the state of the game? So we are going to discuss everything that is going on and if you should worry about SLA. I'll be real with you guys. You have to remember these reports are a estimate. They're not an exact science. Uh, and not to mention, there's a couple different factors you have to put into the actual calculations of these reports that will make the numbers look a little bit iffy. All right. So, but let's be honest, these numbers are close enough where you guys can at least have a general sense of how the game is doing. As you guys are aware, I covered this already the first month. The first month, this game made a whopping, believe it or not, $100 million. That's right. SLA was solo leveling on its own without any competition. And was murdering it now now the landscape looks a lot different right we now have very very big competitors out there we're talking about weathering waves we're talking about um zzz that's coming out obviously uh we, the existence of obviously the hoyaverse games we're talking about uh, uh star rail genshin impact you'll never take that away from that game there's there's just too many games out there now that this game now has to compete with upcoming games as well as existing games so where does it actually fare in regards to its ability to make money and how much has it made to this point now remember i want you guys to take this with a grain of salt because it does not take into account the most important factors and that is the different consoles or different platforms that it does it only takes into account mobile all right now if i'm if i'm a player personally as a player, I barely buy on mobile. I only purchase anything that's on my pay-to-win account only on PC. I want those Arise points. They're easier to play on mobile, and it's just overall just an easier experience on mobile, okay? So let's take a look at these numbers and see if we are looking good. All right, so let's look at the top. Now, keeping in mind, you can see this little, this how the icons work, okay? This is the game, right? There's the name, and this little icon here is the region. So this globe means it's global, all right? This is the actual country. So, and that usually means where it's located or what it's doing in regards to um, its overall release. All right, so first off, Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Well, how do you guys keep making so much money? It's crazy. Um, Honkai is killing it. Let's be real, Honkai is going to murder it every single month. It is the premier Hoyoverse game at the moment, and it continues to just dominate. Dominate, dominate, dominate. We're looking at 91 million here, and this is mobile only. This also accounts for the fact that these Hoyoverse games um, and Wuthering Waves have different platforms that they're out on, and it's not taking those numbers into account. This is the mobile only version of the numbers, okay? So, uh, Honkai Star Rail, 91 million, uh, 92.5. It actually went up. It went up. Okay, now, you have to remember with Honkai Star Rail, they also had Firefly, who just came out, which was a big, 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 big draw for the actual game, and a lot of people were excited about that. So a new character usually means, uh, a new new hype character especially, usually means big numbers. So uh, Honkai Star Rail just killed it. Just killed it. Honestly, it makes me want to start playing the game more, just seeing these numbers, because I'm like, I have an account. Um, I went back in. I quit Honkai Star Rail, by the way, because I pulled March 7 on my free-to-play account uh, four to five times back to back to back. Didn't get Jianjin at all. Went back a year later, did a revenge summon, and got Jianjin and Sparkle at the same time. I was just like, you know what? That's my quitting right there. I'm quitting now on top. Fuck this game. I'm out. So I left. And now, honestly, seeing numbers like this and seeing how the game is still doing so well, and obviously knowing people that play it and they still love it, uh, it's it's deserving of its numbers, clearly. Clearly. And I'm not, hey, listen, I don't pick sides. I don't give a crap about the company. I don't care if you're Hoyaverse or if you're Grandma's Verse or if you're Dogverse or if you're you know, sister verse, whatever the hell the case, the case may be. That one actually sounded a little bit weird. Um, I don't care. I, companies don't, don't bother me. I just I just care about the game, right? So in this case, Hoyoverse does a really good job, obviously, because they understand. Hoyo in general understands how to cater to the audience. So Genshin Impact, 53.3 million, went up to 66.5. Still, I still think, honestly, I don't give a crap how much people hate on it. Still the GOAT, because it, it pretty much revolutionized the genre. Um, I don't like the game personally, but... I, I can appreciate what I appreciate. You know what I mean? It's what it is, what it is. All right, here comes the big ones. Wuthering Waves. So this is what we're going to compete against here. 25.8 million. Remember, again, does not include PC, but went up to 45.5. Now, if you remember, also Yinlin came out. That made a big, big splash on the game. The amount of spenders went up. And then at the same time, you have to remember, they also just had uh, Genshi, I believe, and Changeling that are coming as well, too. Um, Changeling? Changeling? 
Chun Li? Am I saying that correctly? God damn, I made a video on her. Anyways, nonetheless, 1.1 came out, and it's it, it, those numbers are going to continue rising. Wuthering Waves is killing it. I may not like the game as much anymore because I got bored of it. Uh, doesn't mean it's a boring game. I just got bored of it. I didn't have the time to play as much as I wanted to. I still think it's going to kill it. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. With ZZZ coming, I think Zenless Zone Zero is going to be up in these numbers for sure. Maybe even more. Maybe even more because they've got more pre-registrations than any of these games currently ever have ever had. So we might see a massive, massive spike in that the first month. Um, I might be contributing to that a little bit, but I'm not, not quite a bit. Okay, so Love in Deep Space. What the shit is this? What in the Korean K-pop is going on right now? This went up two spots, for God's sake. So this took over uh, and <laughs> uh, still made 33.6 million and also 31. This is also the global release of it. Um... Listen, I thought these games were meme games. I didn't realize they actually made real money. Y'all, y'all, what, what, what is happening right now? Why are we supporting this? Anyways, it is what it is. Uh, Naruto Mobile, oh my god. OG Naruto Mobile, 49.5 million down to 27.5. You have to understand, this is in China only. This game has been around forever. Forever, ever, ever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever? That's right, like Andre 3000 and, and Outcast. Uh, and Miss Jackson, that, that that always comes to mind when I see this. How are you still making so much money? Speaking of how you make so much money, Dragon Ball Legends, thirteen point five to eighteen point six. That is a massive, massive number for Dragon Ball Legends. I don't know if there was a big event that was going on, maybe an anniversary, but that usually drives those numbers up again. Okay. Speaking of old, Puzzle and Dragons. Jesus Christ, that was one of the first mobile games I ever played. Um, 17.5 how is this game still making that much money it's crazy anyways we're here for the what we're here to talk about solo leveling arise 40 million last month down to 18 yeah it's a big it's a big big shit that just happened now here cue in all the haters <laughs> you and all the ones are oh, dead game dead game pain pain i knew it i told you Oh my god, I told you, one month in, dead game. Oh, why are you covering this game? It's so bad, it's so dead game. Loading circle, loading circle. Anyways, here we go. This is this is where the q is going to happen. I'm going to be real with you guys. Am I surprised by this? Not by the least. Not at all. Not at all. You have to remember a couple of things. When you own an IP like this, your draw is not going to be original characters. Okay? Your draw is going to be characters who are actually the characters from the stories. That's what's going to draw people in. OG characters or, or original characters that are not in the manhwa are not exciting for a lot of people. Okay. Um, yes, they're waifus. Waifus sell. So that's, that, that right there is good enough. And honestly, you have to remember, majority of people who... This is a mobile, this is a mobile game, right? This here is going to... A lot of the sales are going to be driven by PC. So this number is going to look really healthy once you add the PC numbers in, okay? These other games are all mobile, and they don't have a PC version. Majority of them, right? Nikkei, Arknet. Actually, Nikkei has, has mobile. Uh, sorry, PC. But, uh, like, Faith Grand, Grand Order doesn't have it. Like, uh, you know, Puzzle and Dragons, honestly, mobile only. Dragon Ball Legends is mobile only. Naruto Mobile is mobile only. Like, Deep, Love and Deep Space is mobile only. It's like all these games here, I'm not even worried about. Because the moment you add in the PC version here, this is going to skyrocket and probably jump like close to here. Won't be near Wuthering Waves or Genshin Impact. Wuthering Waves especially because it's brand new and it's it's got the honeymoon phase still. But I think solo leveling is easily number four. Yeah, number four for sure with PC. Now, again, this number is going to spike a lot once Gong He comes out, once uh, Yato Ryoji comes out once some of the original characters like thomas andre or not the original character sorry some of the national hunters come out like thomas andre um you're gonna see these numbers skyrocket not to mention you're also gonna see these numbers go even further up once you start seeing some of the newer anime seasons come out and that's what's gonna actually interest a lot of people to either come back or even start the game in the first place so not to like I know the haters are going to come out for sure, and that's fine. I mean, this is this is what fuels hatred, right? It's people who see the who see what they want to see, and then they'll read too much into something. Eighteen million is still not not bad at all for a game that made a hundred million the first month, though. Yes, it is a pretty big drop, but again, you have to remember the first month. What do we have? We had Choi, we had Silvermane back, and we had Cha. Are you kidding me, guys? You cannot compl compare the popularity of those characters to the characters that are existing right now as the two characters that were released. I'm talking about Mei Lin and uh, Alicia, no offense, as good as Alicia is as a character, it, the IP sells characters, not metas, right? There's only so many people that care about metas. Major you have to remember, the majority of gamers who play mobile games are very, very much casual players. 
They're not hardcore. By the way, this right here, right there, that little line, I've never noticed it before. God damn. Um, they're, they're very much casual players. Majority of buyers are casual players. You know why they buy? They buy because of nostalgia. They buy because they want to be they want to do something that they care about the character that they're they're purchasing. And they don't care about the meta. They don't care about who's winning or who's the best character. Most of the times they're buying because they're like, you know what? I like this character. This is what I want to buy. This is what I want my put my money into. And that's how most of the gamers work. You guys who watch my videos, who watch Nato's videos, who watch Zaf's videos, who watch all the other content creators, you guys are considered hardcore gamers. You guys are considered the, the minority. We are the minority, the people who care about the meta, the numbers, the data, etc. We're not the majority of the people, right? So keep that in mind. So all in all, guys, all I got to say is the game's doing well. I'm not worried about it. The numbers may not look like it's a big deal, but these are big numbers still for any game, to be honest with you. So I don't think personally that anyone has anything to worry about with, with solo leveling and rise. I think the numbers are going to rise again come August when Gung He comes out, come, you know, uh, September when uh, when we have Brayron, come come December when Biru comes out. Like these are all very big names in the universe. And I think the people just need to give it a couple minutes, uh, sit down, soak it in and let the game be its 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 own thing because at the end of the day quite honestly you you have to remember it's the ip that sells so once the characters come out you're going to see those numbers jump fairly bigly i'm, pre I'm pretty confident about that all right guys this is pain thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one take care